Hi everyone and welcome to my channel today. So we're talking about fashion on a budget today. I'm going to share with you some tips on how to find some really good pieces without spending an absolute fortune. Now I've got some examples for you. Everything that I've picked up is £30 or under which is about $40 but this is absolute top end. Most things I've got to show you are a lot cheaper than that. So just before we get started, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Gemma. I post videos a couple of times a week and it's mainly fashion related. So I'd love to have you as a new subscriber. Just hit that little button below and don't forget to hit the bell notification as well. So let's get on to my first tip. Now my first tip is to look for clothing made of good quality fabrics. Obviously what something's made in can make a real difference to making it look cheap, to making it look far more expensive than what it actually is. Now the fabrics that I tend to look for are things like Georgette and Crepe, which are lovely fabrics, compared to something like Jersey, which is a fabric that I really, really hate. Now shopping online can be difficult um, because obviously you don't get to feel the material beforehand, um, but it can be done, it just takes a little bit more time. Personally, if you're on a budget, I would say go into the stores if you can, because you'll get obviously a much better idea of how something feels. Now these grey trousers are made in a really soft fabric and they hang really nicely as well. Underneath is just a black polo with these really gorgeous mutton sleeves and it's made from a really similar fabric to the basic knitwear that you'd find in Zara. And this pink top is another good example of looking for better quality fabrics. It's made in a kind of a sear like a style material and it's only £12.50 as well. My second tip is to look for unusual designs. Something that's not just made from a bog standard cut. Maybe a top with some unusual sleeves or collar detail or maybe some trousers with some unusual detailing down the side. But design details that are different will automatically make something look far more expensive. Now I love the sleeves on this red jumper. They're fluted and pleated, but what I really liked is that the sleeves continue underneath the flutes so that you don't get cold arms, which I thought was fabulous. My third tip is a very simple one. It's about lining. Always buy jackets that have been lined. It makes a big difference to how it looks and how it hangs and transforms something from cheap to expensive. This lovely pink jacket is completely lined throughout and it's £30, so at the top end of the clothes that I'm showing you today. But it hangs really beautiful, and it's great for a casual look or a smarter look as well. And it also has pockets. My fourth tip is about the cut of an item. It's really important when you're shopping on a budget to try and find things that have been well cut. If something's not well cut, it's not going to fit well, and it's not going to look nice either. Trousers and jackets that have been really well cut make a huge difference to your silhouette and look far more expensive than they are. The shape and the cut of these trousers are really great and they're made in a really lovely fabric too. Also the trench coat was a really great find. It's completely lined throughout and it's cut really well. I've just added them to a simple polka dot shirt and, and a jumper over the top. Tip five is about detailing. Now I'm talking about things like buttons and embellishments. Quite often the buttons that are added to budget clothing can look quite cheap, but they can be changed and it can completely transform an outfit. But also look for items that have extra embellishment. To a manufacturer, all those extra details, bows, ties, embellishments, it's all extra cost, so quite often they'll leave them off. So finding items that have those extra details can sometimes look a little bit more designer and a little bit more expensive. This top has loads of details. It's got ribbons, it's got ties, it's got two types of embroidery, and as a bonus, it's really comfortable as well. It's only 18 pounds. And I'd maybe just add a gilet over the top for a kind of a boho look. So they're my tips, I hope you enjoyed them. Happy shopping and I'll see you again soon.